Florida is home to an incredible and diverse amount of life on both land and sea. When it comes to our waterways, some of the larger creatures here captivate people's fears and imaginations. But in the warm summer months, something strange happens to a few of our bays and estuaries. When most of us are sleeping, late at night, the incredible light of life begins to glow. The phenomenon of bioluminescence. Maybe you've heard of bioluminescence before. Fireflies or glowworms may have captured your attention. In the deep ocean, life lighting up is seemingly common. But in just a few spots on planet Earth, this incredible event occurs in a few feet of water, just within our reach. But what's causing this amazing spectacle? In Florida, it's caused by two very different organisms found in this estuary. The comb jelly, a type of tinafore, can create small, bright bursts of light. But the most spectacular light show is caused by a kind of microscopic, single-celled dinoflagellate plankton called Pyrodinium bahamensi. These tiny algal cells, only 30 microns in size, react to any sort of agitation in the water. Something as gentle as a droplet of rain, a small fish swimming through, or any wake in the water causes the pyrodinium to give off this soft and beautiful glow. It's easy to forget that pyrodinium are living things. Though they may be tiny, they still strive to survive and reproduce. And to stay alive, these life forms have developed two self-defense mechanisms. Their first defense is to produce small amounts of saxitoxin which can build up through the effect of biomagnification to cause paralytic shellfish poisoning. But their most stunning defense is the bioluminescence they give off. In their tiny world, predators are often other single-celled organisms like protists and zooplankton. To survive in their environment, sometimes all you need is to light up to scare the threat away. Through the use of a chemical called luciferin, they give off a sudden glow that quickly dissipates. However, the pyrodinium can't tell the difference between a would-be predator and a curious swimmer mesmerized by their glow. The pyrodinium themselves are harmless to us. Water with pyrodinium concentrations are safe to swim and play in. Over the years, this hasn't gone unnoticed by locals, and several eco-tour companies have popped up to take eager guests out to kayak among the glowing waters. Others choose to ditch their kayaks and jump in for a swim. This estuary is supporting entire eco-tour enterprises that have developed just to allow people to get a closer look at this incredible phenomenon. For the bioluminescence to even be faintly visible on the darkest of nights, there needs to be a concentration of more than 5,000 dinoflagellate cells per liter of water. And here in the estuary, there are trillions of them, multiplying every day. As long as the water remains above 20 degrees Celsius and given enough nutrients, the pyrodinium will continue to reproduce, glowing and growing for years to come. When you're out on the water, staring at the glow, you can forget all the world's problems and take a moment to connect with an incredible natural phenomenon as you experience the light of life.